Hi, I'm Jane. Toby and the crib. Toby was big and Toby was strong. But you wouldn't say Toby was the best behaved boy in the class. When all the children were shouting, Toby was the loudest. Whenever there was a fight, Toby was in the middle. There were some children in the class who were a bit afraid of him. On the first day of Advent, the teacher came in with a surprise. It was a crib. It looked exactly like the manger in which baby Jesus had once lain. Mrs. Beck put a bag with hay in it and said, this is our new advent calendar. Instead of giving out chocolate, we're going to discuss which children have made people feel happy or helped others. Then those children could put a handful of hay in the crib. The nicer you are to one another, the softer Jesus' bed will be on Christmas Eve. This really annoyed Toby. What a stupid idea. I can tell you now, no one's going to choose me. He would have much preferred a piece of chocolate. He did always get an advent chocolate in the end. And Toby was right. Every day before they went home, the children sat looking at the crib, discussing who should put in the hay. Nora had shared her sandwiches. Lena had painted a picture for Sharon when she wasn't feeling very well. Peter had gone round picking up litter from the playground and Vincent had watered the flowers. So it went on. Soon, every child in the class had laid hay in the crib. Every child except Toby. But one day, Lily stood up and said, Toby should put hay in the crib today. I accidentally knocked his pencil case on the ground and he didn't get upset. I thought that was really nice. Toby stared in amazement. It was true, she had knocked his pencil case off and he was really cross, but he'd seen how sorry and scared she was. He blushed as red as a brick as he reached into the bag and pulled out a handful of hay. It was crispy and smelt wonderful. Very carefully, he pressed the hay down into the crib. Now baby Jesus's bed would be a little bit softer. Two days later, Lily stood up again. Toby should put hay in the crib. Nora and I were supposed to collect all the waste paper and he carried the heavy box for us. Toby was very embarrassed. He wasn't used to people saying nice things about him. But he was really happy when he was allowed to stuff more hay into the crib. It was not the last. Somehow, Toby found it was a lot more fun being praised and smiled at than criticised and avoided. Whenever he started to get angry, he thought about the soft hay in the crib and he could feel himself calming down. On the last night, day before Christmas holidays, the children were about to rush into the classroom, but it was all dark. Very puzzled, they crept in. In the middle of the room was a circle of lights and in the middle of the lights was the crib. It was filled from top to bottom with hay and spread out on top of the hay was a delicate white cloth, so fine and dainty it could have come from heaven. This year we have all had a brilliant advent, said Mrs Beck with a smile. If the newborn Jesus were to lie in our crib, he would have a very soft warm bed. Thank you, everyone. After that, they sang a carol together. Before they went off for the holidays, Toby picked a sprig of hay just as a souvenir 